Good morning. Who is here? Let's have a tease. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle do or die. A real live nephew of my Uncle Sam. Born on the 4th of July. Morning, girlies. It's time to be Americans. Let's go. I'm making you a fantastic breakfast. Colombian deep fried donuts. Tomorrow. Come on, sweetie. Up, 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 up. You'll be, you'll be glad you did it. You'll sleep on the bus. Come. I'm going upstairs. Wish me luck. Just be quiet for Frank. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle Do or Die. A real live nephew of my Uncle Sam. Born on the 4th of July. I'm a Yankee Doodle Sweetheart. It's uh, Captain King River here. Good morning, girls. Good morning to you. I went out shopping. I got smoothies and Colombian deep fried donuts. Mm. I mean, you can't beat that. I even had Tia Susana like translated for me. Shoshi, take that step. Push yourself. Be glad you did. I don't think Hillary was allowed to run. Why not? Because apparently she's a criminal. <laughs> no, she has not been convicted of a crime. She she seems to either get off or murder the people that could convict her. She was never indicted of a crime. She was never even formally accused of a crime, you know, like by the police. But I believe she's a criminal. But she will soon be president. I believe. Madam President, first first one of those. Like if you call if you have, if you send them an invitation, you'll send an invitation to Madam and Mr. President. So I guess plural because they're both presidents. Yeah. Like if he wasn't president, then you would just send it Madam and Mr. President. So now I guess they have to do Madam and Mr. Presidents. Oh yeah, because her husband's Bill. And you get to keep president forever, you know. They're always called the highest thing you were. That's why they call her Secretary Clinton, even though she's not Secretary of State now. And you know what they call Trump? What? Trump, because he hasn't held any office. And probably won't. All right, Shushi, you can do it. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. From Detroit down to Houston and New York to there's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and say That I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her today because there ain't no doubt I hi good morning everybody it's uh almost 10 o'clock on election day just wanted to give you a little update and um the poll numbers so far are looking uh looking pretty good you know um we had a strong showing this morning we were at the um at the co-branch on uh in hillside and uh a lot of supporters there. It was really felt really great. Um, our next step, I think, is to try and uh, well, two things. One is um, there were some uh, you know election irregularities that uh, we're considering uh, you know contacting uh, Trenton about um, you know and uh, maybe get the whole country's thing put on hold until they figure out you know the irregularities. I mean. If it's supposed to be, you know, equal access, then how come, uh, 
Hillary and, and, uh, Donald Duck can pick a running mate and, uh, the machine won't let a uh, independent candidate do that. Doesn't quite seem like that's what the constitution said when it said that a, uh, you know, equal protection. So we're going to look into a couple of these things. I mean, we obviously have our teams, you know, mulling it over and, and, and the day is young, but that's one of the reasons why we wanted to vote so early. Um, we, uh, woke up around 5.15. Um, had a, uh, exotic, uh, Colombian, um, feta cheese donut breakfast of some sort. Um, you know, again, because once Donald comes in, all that food's gone. You know, I mean, you know, you can't buy Colombian food. You'll, you'll, you'll jail you and call you a rapist. I mean, that, forget it. So, um, you know, we're trying to take advantage of all what we can just as a hedge. Um, then after, uh, after we were done, the girls went to school. I took the baby to uh, daycare and then, um, I went to shul and, you know, I don't know if that was a mistake because I probably should have gone to shul first, but I stuck to the routine of when I go to shul and I couldn't have gone to shul before voting. It wasn't even Zman. Um, but how can I go and vote and start that off without going to Tefillah first? So I don't know. I think I might've really put a nail in the coffin on that one and, uh, feeling very uneasy about that. And I might, uh, I don't know. I've never been, but maybe we should go to the Ohella or something like that just to try to get that one out or melt some lead. I, I, I don't know. But regardless, we're having a great day. Um, and uh, nothing's more exciting, like I said to a couple people earlier, than uh, a deep fry on election day. I mean, I got to check if the wings are playing tonight, then it could be a triple, you know, like all in day. Um, but I'm going to uh, take this clip. I'm going to add it to some of the pictures we took, uh, you know, while we were, uh, you know, sort of making our presentation and, and uh, making our appearance at the uh, at the polling site. Um, they wouldn't let us take pictures inside. And once again, you know, violations, clearly. Um, I'm sure we're going to get a million pictures of, you know, Hillary and and Ducky doing their voting. So why do we not get pictures of ours? You know, do we need one poll reporter doing everybody? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But that's what they do. They treat you, like, improperly if you're not a you know, major candidate, which is just code for taking, you know, Shelley Alderson's or, or, or George Soros's money. Um, I mean, one of those two guys run and then we could have a real debate, but another day. Anyways, I'm not going to let that, you know, I mean, I've, I've had enough experience with the court system to know that it's inherently corrupt. So I'm not going to let that aspect of it bring me down today because today is a great day. Today is a great day. And, and I, I, uh, I'll give a link to it, but I wrote a little piece about, you know, my, my thoughts on voting and, and our responsibilities. And I looked into it and, you know, my family arrived here just after, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes, our 19th president, became president. And I have to ask my father if he knows when, when his grandfather was eligible or became naturalized and was able to first vote. Um, but, uh, even though I wasn't going to vote for, uh, you know, these disasters, there's no way I was going to, uh, not take the opportunity to, you know, vote myself, um, for myself because besides the millions and millions of people that don't have a right to vote in the world and the millions probably of people in this country who are not allowed to vote for various reasons, both racial and, and incarcerated and otherwise. Um, you know, a lot of people died to give us that right. And, and, uh, to me, it's, a, a you know, a solemn obligation, even if it's so stupid because of how they do it and, and, uh, living in this ridiculous state, you know, where you can't make a difference anyways. But again, I'm not going to let that bother me because good day. And we're going to spend a little time looking at trends in because I mean, why not? Why don't we try to. Let's challenge what happened this morning. We had, do have some cameras on it and, um, you know, maybe throw a press conference and, uh, shake things up a little bit, you know, but, uh, we're going to look on that. 
if any of my uh, lawyer friends, I know I have a lot of lawyers on the feed, are uh, knowledgeable on this. I mean, I have I have the press release with the FBI guys in New in Newark um, dealing with irregularities in Union County. Um, but if you, anybody has any thoughts on that, you know, contact me directly. Uh, 312-404-2055. And like I said, I'm going to throw up some of the pictures and, uh, we had a good time this morning. Everyone got involved and Frank got to go to his first election too. So it was really great. Have a great day. Good luck to you and your candidates. And, uh, and you know what? And don't get me wrong. They're disgusting. They're quasi criminal and makes me nauseous, but one of these idiots will be my president. And I will salute them as well. Have a good one. And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up Next to you and defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the you